Beautiful Friday, and we are super excited to be back in Mesa. We had a, a great trip. Uh, we went up to Utah and uh, through the canyons and in Idaho and came to Oregon, and that was both a blessing and a, and a heartbreaking as well um, to just see the devastation from the fires. But we were super um, excited to be there, to be there for support, to be there just to see family. We have a new little grandson. We spent a lot of time with our grandkids. It was great. But when we left, I had left my home tower inside on, right? And we filled it up. It's 13 gallons. And it was an experiment to see how long the water would last. And um, I was also incubating some strawberry starts. So I want to show you, because I've already moved the strawberries out, so you're going to see half empty tower, but I'm going to take you outside to see what they look like. So we started off with little tiny seedlings. Now they were about this big. They were little bitty tiny ones, okay? And so this is what we came home to. So um, we have produce, everyone. It lasted, and guess what? It was only about halfway down. Now this is the home tower. This is the inside tower. And it has lights on it. And as you know, we live in an RV, so um, <clears throat> so it's in a very small space. But now we have lettuce, we have arugula. Um, I just went and got this little baby yesterday, but I'm gonna get some more. Because up here was where all of the strawberries, the little seedlings um, started, because I wanted to start them inside uh, and see how they would do, right? So <clears throat> now I'm gonna take you out because um, if you'll, it's gonna my you're gonna be mind blown <clears throat> so before we left my husband and a friend a husband of a friend of mine michelle's husband dan helped us and we put in these floats <clears throat> excuse me so these floats when they go down uh the water comes on and it keeps them filled is that not the best that's the bomb right so and this one is going to be set up that way as well uh today and so here's my strawberry starts. Look at these. These were all grown inside on the home tower. And uh, it was super easy. And look how healthy they look. I'm just was so excited because I thought, oh, they're probably gonna die. Because strawberries really like to be dry. Like out here, they are on two hours off and 15 minutes on right now. And so these were all started on my home tower and I just transplanted them. Look at that, it's super. And then look at this, I was so jazzed. So the water, we're gone for three weeks, the floats worked, kept the water. I had a friend come by about the second week and put some of the tower tonic in it. Uh, so it would at least get a little bit of food in there. But look at, here's an eggplant, look at this. Is this not amazing? It's got all these babies started. Look at the pepper. Whoops, I'm kind of in the shadow. Peppers. Um, let's see, I have dill. Oh, look at the, oh, I came home to this. Look at this little guy. I'm gonna, he's hiding. See the um, cucumber? And here's a watermelon. That's a watermelon vine with lots of great little blooms on it. <clears throat> I have two tomatoes. Look at the basil grew. There's another little pepper. Another little pepper. You can tell I like peppers. Um, here's a big tomato. This is a beefsteak tomato right here. This one right here. It grew, it was like about this big when we left. Look how big it is now. And this is a special tomato from the Oregon Extension Office. I'm really hoping it produces because the tomatoes on it taste like candy. They're little yellow ones. They're incredible. So as you can see, everything just grew, grew, grew. The floats worked. I'm super excited because that means we can leave and come back. There's no worry about it whatsoever. And I can start seedlings in my home tower. Look at how healthy those look. I'm super excited. So anyway, <clears throat> just wanted to show you after our three week vacation, what we came home to. This is really the easiest way to garden. Oh my gosh, no weeding, it's sustainable. It uses 90% less water and 90% less land. Like, think about it, I have 40 plants right here in these two towers. We're getting ready to buy another one, I think. So between the three of them, the inside tower and these two towers, we have 72 plants and we live in a fifth wheel. 
go figure, right? <laughs> right? So anyway, we're super excited. We want everyone to have one of these. Like, I can't begin to tell you what the difference it has made um, in what how we eat <clears throat> and uh, what we do with our food. It's clean. It's organic. I can just go out and pick it. <clears throat> Sorry. I don't have to wash it. I mean, it's incredible. And uh, we're gonna get another one so we can grow uh, some more bigger produce like squash and some other things. Maybe a cantaloupe. Uh, there's some other things I'd like to, to grow. So for the month of October and November because Christmas is coming and I just think these make an incredible gift. It's a gift that keeps on giving. Anyone who orders from us, uh, we're gonna give them a $25 gift certificate to True Garden to get started for seedlings. I mean, what better way is that? You get your tower garden, you can get order your seedlings and get them started right away. You can grow them too, but this way you can get kind of a quick start. So anyway, we're gonna um, continue with that promotion. We just had it in um, uh, September and we had two people take advantage of that. And um, so I'd like more of you to be tower garden owners, know what it's like to eat tower garden lettuce it's the best it's the bomb i'm telling you it is if you start eating produce from the tower gardens you'll never buy it at the store so anyway i'm going to put a little graphic out here sometime today uh just to let people know what we're doing and um I, and i'm here for any questions you might have okay talk to you later Bye bye